In this video, I'll show how to create, copy, move directories, folders on the Windows using two panel file manager. These tools and skill can save a lot of your time instead of using drag and drop. Hi, and welcome to Install and Use channel. This channel contains tutorials how to install, configure, and use software which is used in the daily routines on a daily basis. Useful links, codes, scripts, and detailed information mentioned in the video can be found in the description below. Like videos, share with friends and colleagues if you find them informative and useful. Hi, my name is Anton. By this video, I begin the series of the videos which related to the popular file manager called File Manager. In this first tutorial, you will know how to install and perform basic operations with the file manager. Tell me, what is your favorite file manager? How long you use it? For which purposes? Okay, let's go and download the file manager from the official website. And we will start by typing file manager to the Google. And the farmmanager.com is the official website. So let's open it. And there is a download button. We want a stable build. And we want the 64 bit architecture version. And we want MSI for a Windows installation. So let's click it. Now save it and install it. Yes, we want to execute it. It will ask me at the smart screen verify the authenticity. Then we just go next. Yes, we we'll confirm that we want to this path. Actually, we want everything to be installed. Yes. And yes. At this point, administer rights will be asked. Installation successful. We may want to launch the application now, but currently just let finish it. The interface of file managers usually has been split into the two panels. The panel on, you, on the left and panel on your right. It does represent the list of the directories, including directories and files. We can see the system and hidden directories as well here. Navigating happens with the up and down keys and opening the directory or changing the directory happening with enter key. So let's go and look what is inside of the program files. Okay, we do see the directories of the, our programs has been installed here. Going back, we can we always select on the top two dots which represent the change directory. Changing the cursor between the two panels happening with the tab key. Let's press a tab key and let's look what happens. The cursor changes the panel from left to right. I can navigate in the left panel using cursor keys. Using the tab key I can change the panel. Basic operations of the file manager usually happens using the F keys, function keys, which are located on the top of the keyboard from F1 to F12. We will be using now Alt F1 and Alt F2 shortcuts to change drives or mounting points. So let's press Alt F1 and we will be asked to change the drive. At this point I have only C drive and cloud drive which is P cloud. We can connect the USB drive and look what happens. I am now connecting USB flash disk into the USB port of the computer. As we can see that the flash drive has been attached to the computer or mounted into the operating system. It has been listed as a new drive 
and we are able to change the drive. Performing the choice with the up and down keys and using enter to change the panel. We see that the only directory on the flash disk is the house. That's the music for the driving the car. Inside of this directory we have different directories as well. Let's perform basic file management operations such as copying, moving and deleting the files. My task is to copy the document, the file, from the flash disk to my local drive, C. Firstly, I will create the directory. I will press F7 to make the new directory. I will call it music from USB drive. The new directory has been created. I will use the enter key to change the directory or to enter into the directory or to open a folder. Then I will use the tab key to navigate to the another panel which is on the left side. What I want, I want to copy this directory which is name no name one which contains six music tracks to the directory on the local drive. So I'm using F5 key to initiate the copying process. The copy dialog will appear and it asks me to confirm the copying process of the folder no name one into the path which is written in the dialog. I need only to confirm by pressing the enter or this copy button. The dialog show the progress of each file and the total progress as well. Let's copy the other folder. I want you to focus on the total process bar and the speed of the copying process. So I will select the other directory and initiate the copying process by pressing F5 button. And then I will confirm by pressing the Enter key. So we can see here that uh, the upper progress bar is dedicated to only the file and the lower progress bar is showing the overall process with estimated time when it will be finished, how much time has been elapsed since the beginning and the current average speed of the process. That is how to copy the files from source to destination. Let's assume we want to copy the no name one folder again. Let's initiate the copy process by pressing F5 button and then we confirm as usual. The FAR recognizes that uh, the destination file exists with the same name. It will ask us to make a choice what to do with this. We may overwrite the file, we may skip the file, rename the file, append the file and cancel the operation. This point I do compare the size of the file and the timestamp. So by this I can generally conclude that the file is the same. At this point we will not dive into the hash sums and of the files. We'll just conclude that the file is the same and I will overwrite the file and this file I may decide to skip and this file I will decide to rename and the FAR propose me to use the number 2 in the braces and the rest of the files I do want to overwrite that is done Performing the move operation happens as follows. We focus cursor on the directory and press F6 button, which is initiate the move dialog. We have been asked to confirm the destination and using the enter key, we confirm in the move operation.
we see that new directory has been appeared in the destination and it has been removed from the source. Deleting the directory. We need to focus on the directory we want to delete and press F8, which initiates the delete dialog. By the default, FAR used recycle bin to delete or move it the files as it usually done in the Windows environment. Yes, we do confirm we want it to move to the recycle bin. Yes, we want to move all of files. Now the directory has been moved into the recycle bin. Opening or executing the file. Let's assume we want to listen to this mp3 track. We will focus on the track we want to open and simply press Enter key. Default application will be opened. To finish the fork flow with the file manager, let's press F10 key. It will initiate the quit dialog and it need to confirm that we want to finish the work. In this tutorial we learned the basic actions such as creating the directories, copying and moving them and the executing the files. In the next video we shall perform the same actions with the files taking the full power of the selection functionality. Stay tuned!